Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. On this episode, we're gonna redo our total cost video with updated pricing from 2022. Let's get started. If you've been around the world in the last year, you probably know that prices are shooting through the roof on everything. Probably nothing more than containing, or containing materials, more than building materials. I haven't seen any price increases like this in literally 20 years. Stuff we were buying a year ago is now sometimes four times the cost today. So with that being said, we need to completely reprice the total cost video for 2022. The crazy part is I already have material increases coming next month. So these numbers are literally good today. Next month, I have multiple suppliers telling me 15 to 30% increases. So let's get into it. We're gonna go down this build exactly as we're gonna build the container. So in the steps. So the very first thing we need to do is buy a 40 foot container. Right now, the 40 foot containers or pretty much any container, it's kind of like the stock market. It's fluctuating every single day. So I'm just gonna use the price that we actually paid on our, our most recent purchase for a 40 foot high cube container. That was $6,500. Now keep in mind, we're working directly with brokers. We're buying large amounts of, of containers and we're very close to a port. So we're getting pricing that might not apply to where you are. So that number is a variable number as well. Shipping is going to be the next number. Uh, for us, it's $500 to get it from the port to our facility. For you, depending on how, how close that port is to wherever you're getting your container, or you're receiving it, that's gonna be based on a mileage and whatever trucking is available. So keep that in mind as well. That's another variable cost. Steel, now in this, our previous build, we did not have any steel in, in the structure for the window frames. Now we're actually welding two by four steel into all of our openings, floor to ceiling, tying the bottom rail into the top rail to structurally support it. So every single opening we have here has steel involved welded into place. The cost of that steel is roughly $750. That's about three sticks of 24 foot long two by four steel tubing. Then we also have a flat stock steel going across the top that acts as a drip edge to kick the water off. And that is included in that $750. The next one we're gonna have, and these are, these are things we need to order. So this might not be the order that they actually go in, but the next thing that we need to order because there's a big lead time. And this is, this is one of those items that you could be waiting six months to get. Uh, our supplier is still gonna take about nine weeks to, to fulfill our order and we're buying massive quantities at the same time. But glass for us, this is gonna be a variable cost as well because if you're building somewhere in the nation that doesn't have hurricanes, you probably don't need to use impact rated glass. However, you still might have tornadoes and impact rated glass is definitely not a bad thing to have. And what that means is rated to 188 mile an hour winds, uh, sorry, faster than that but it's rated for a two by four to be launched at it at 188 miles an hour directly at it and it cannot penetrate through the glass. So you can get an idea of how strong these, these windows are. But we're, we're using floor to ceiling, impact rated and insulated glass. So virtually the most expensive glass package you can order. That breaks down to our cost at about $13,500 for one 40 foot unit glass package. I've heard guys getting quotes way higher than that, but keep that in mind for us. You could probably, if you're going with regular door systems, you could probably have that number closer to about $2,500. So the next item we're gonna have is our HVAC system. Now we're gonna order that in advance because we've also been having shortages on some of this stuff. We, con we reach out to our, our mechanical contractor and we let them know we're gonna be ready for an, an HVAC system and we're gonna use more than likely a one ton mini split system, that the cost of those units is about $1,500 today. Those used to be about $700. So the cost of installed, now this is one of the things we're not even installing our mini split systems ourselves. We're giving you the cost of if you bought the mini split and you wanted to install it yourself. I highly don't recommend doing that. I think the best situation to do is just to hire an HVAC contractor and have them install your mini split system for you. 
I would estimate that you're gonna find prices of somewhere around $2,000 to $3,000 today for a mini split system. The same thing that we were paying about $1,200 installed in 2019. So that's one of those items, almost tripled the, the price. Uh, the next item on our list is going to be insulation. Hey Blake, put your phone on silent. Whoa, no, breaking Ryan's equipment. Just pulled my microphone out. Silente. Okay, insulation. Now, our units are comprised of a masterminded plan of insulation. So there's all different types of insulation in here, all different layers of insulation in here. Okay, so the total cost of everything for the insulation section is $3,700. Next item we have is framing. So we're gonna be framing out the entire interior, both the exterior walls and of all of our partition walls. So all of that framing, depending on what you're gonna be doing, if it's metal frame or if it's a two by four wood stud frame, it is shooting through the roof. I am sure if you guys are looking at building stuff, you probably price some of these items, but studs today are $9 for a two by four by eight. That is the same thing we were paying about $2.50 a piece in 2019, maybe even less than that. But I mean, you're, you're talking that's almost four times the price of 2019. So what, what's crazy here is we've actually priced buying entire semi-trucks full of two by fours from, from different building suppliers. And we got quoted a price of $12 per stud on an entire semi-truck's worth of material. I mean, that's outrageous. Okay, so for framing, the total cost is going to break down to roughly $625. The next item we're gonna have is drywall. Now this is one of the items that actually has not increased in pricing too much. However, I did hear through the grapevine that drywall is going to be having a increase coming up in the next probably 60 days. But current situation, drywall is about the same price, maybe you know 5% more than it was back in 2019. So for the total in the drywall section, we're looking at roughly $700. Drywall, if you're not a drywall person, you, haven't, you don't have a lot of skill taping and finishing, you're not gonna be doing this trade yourself. Trust me, you do not wanna mess with it. You're gonna, if you pay a guy to come in, he'll probably finish the entire container and drywall for probably like $1,200 to $1,500. And that is money well saved. Because if you do that yourself, you're, it's going to look like garbage, you know, unless you're an artist. And there are little tricks to it that it will go so much smoother, let, let a professional do all the finishing. Uh, if you put all that time in, it can actually cost more for them to come back and fix it than it is for them to just knock it out in literally probably a day. The next item is going to be paint, which paint covers a large, uh, a large array of items. So you've got, painting isn't just the final coat. You're gonna have all of your primer, you're gonna have paint, you're gonna have roller naps, tape, caulk. Uh, you need to metal prime all of your exterior steel tubing. You need to waterproof that. Uh, all of these adhesives, all these things are gonna fall under that category. All of that included for the paint section, we're looking at a figure of about $700. Plumbing is our next major section. Now this is again, a, a mass variety of, of items in this. You're gonna have, um, we, we used PEX in our, in our system here. So we have packs, we have fittings, crimp rings, valves and trim kits, water heater, toilet, shower pan, glass door actually falls under our, our because it's a glass door for the shower. Uh, but if we pull that glass door out of there, we still have vanity sink, faucet. Um, again, we're gonna have some silicone in there for all those plumbing fixtures. And then we have a kitchen sink and a kitchen faucet. All of those items come out to about $3,600. In 2019, we're probably looking, we'd have to go back through our, our quote, but Ryan will probably reference it right here. Right there, there's the number. I don't know what it is, but you guys do. Electrical, this is actually not as painful as I would expect because we've wired our system in a very efficient manner because of the fact that wire itself. So uh, for instance, if we reference uh, Romax in 14.2, Romax, a 254 roll, a 250 foot roll of Romax 14.2 used to cost about $35 to $50. We're now paying 
$125 for every single roll of Romex, which is outrageous, and that's a low price. We've seen much higher than that. So 125, that, you know, we're looking at three times, in some cases, four times the cost than it was back in 2019. So luckily, these are small homes. We're not burning up a lot of wire. So, you know, we're only burning through about one full row roll of 14.2. Then we also have some 12.2, uh, which is a lot more expensive. You're looking at about $250 a roll for that. Um, so all that stuff factored into electrical. We have wire boxes, outlet switches, wire nuts, uh, your little puck lights that go, which we use all LED four inch lighting, all that kind of stuff. You're looking at about $1,375. Flooring is our next item. Now flooring, you can have a bunch of different varieties of flooring. I, if you're ever gonna move your container, I definitely recommend you do not use tile uh, for us, we use a waterproof vinyl plank flooring. It's just like any other tongue groove locking flooring system. And uh, it's really durable and waterproof. So we love that product. It looks very similar to real wood. It almost feels like real wood until you get down to touch it. But the price per square foot on vinyl flooring right now at a wholesale level, you're looking at about $2.65 a square foot. You're gonna need to, per, uh, to have overage in there. So you can't just take the whole container 320 square feet. You need to add a 10% uh, waste for when you have to rip sheets and all that kind of stuff. So you're looking at about roughly $874.50. Now there's other things that your flooring might require, which is an underlayment system. Uh, there's a couple of different things that can drastically bump that number up. You get the, the, the idea, you know, you're gonna have to price a per square foot, add 10 to 15% overage to, to the 320 square feet, and that's gonna give you an idea of where your flooring is gonna come out to. The next item is millwork. Millwork, uh, if you're not familiar, is going to be all of our baseboards, door casing, interior doors, door frames, all that kind of stuff. In our 40 foot model, we have two interior doors, which are pocket doors, and those doors are louvered so that airflow can transfer through. Louvered pocket doors have shot up in price. You can barely find them. I just had to pay $650 for two louvered doors that we still have to paint. I mean, outrageous. It's getting insane. So $650 just on two, two louvered doors does not include the pocket door frames that need to be built and installed uh, it does not include casing or any of our baseboards through this. So this is the total number I'm about to give you, which does include all of that stuff, your pocket door frames, your casing, your baseboards, all that kind of stuff. One thing to note, we did use a premium baseboard. We use PVC so that we can silicone it to the floor and it's completely waterproof. So if you dump water all over this floor, you have a PVC baseboard, it's not going to swell. You don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So our baseboards were quite a bit more expensive than they, than they need to be. But all those items together, you're looking at about $1,650. Cabinetry is going to be our next item. That's going to include your vanity cabinets for your bathroom and also all of your kitchen cabinets. Your design might have some cabinets up on the wall somewhere. In our case, it's just our kitchen and our vanity cabinets. We're leaving other areas open for people to design and put whatever they want. So for the total, for our cabinetry system, which is a white shaker, uh, solid plywood box, you know, high quality cabinets, all soft close, the total was $3,445. The next item is countertops. Countertops can again be a big variable uh, based on whatever you're gonna put in. You could do something like laminate, I would never recommend doing that. We use solid surf, uh, surface countertops. We actually have two different options currently. So we either do a concrete gray quartz countertops or we have a butcher block that has been stained a really dark, almost like black, and then clear coated with epoxy. So they are very durable. Both are completely waterproof solutions. Either one of those options, you're gonna be pretty close to about $2,100 for those countertops. Miscellaneous materials when you're building your budget, you always need to have a section that includes all of the variables that you're gonna have throughout that project, things you, you forgot to add in. So for us, it's cans of spray foam. 
You know, when we put in our system, we spray foam every void anywhere. Uh, down to our two by four metal framed window openings, we have actually drilled holes from the inside and filled those, the, the tubing with foam. So, I mean, we, we insulate anything that we possibly can. Uh, glue, different adhesives, tapes, plastics, because as you're priming and painting stuff, you need to cover and protect things. There's going to be different, different sealants and stuff that you might, you might find like, okay, I need to grab a little bit extra of this. Just all your miscellaneous items that you, maybe whiz rollers, whiz roller frames. I mean, all these different items you're gonna come across during your build. And for us, that miscellaneous section came into about $800. This is an option, you don't need it, but if you like the bed system that we built into our previous, uh, in the bedroom that actually hydraulically lifts up, that bed system, this is an optional number, not going to be included in our total cost, but that bed system cost us about $750 to build. Okay, so for the big number, this is what it comes down to, $42,000. $319.50. Now again, no labor, but you can see compared to our previous 2019 number, we've got a pretty significant increase. Now, based on the fact that a lot of these numbers that we went through did not have price increases, but a lot of them did, we're going to expect that number to increase by roughly 10 to 15% over the next few months. For us, this fully decked out unit, if you're interested, you can purchase from us. And we're retail side, 85,000. We've been trying our best. We're setting up this manufacturing facility to be streamlined as much as possible to maintain that price point as all these prices increase in our cost of materials. A lot of people have emailed us throughout the years and they're like, oh, we wanna buy a $35,000 container. We can't even build a $35,000 container. There's so much labor that goes into these. And that's a major factor. You know, you see the price point at the end of this of $42,319.50. Obviously that number's increasing almost every day, but you gotta factor at, if, as materials, fuel costs go up, food costs go up, obviously labor has to go up because people need to be able to afford to buy all these materials that and items that are increasing. So obviously you factor in all that labor. One of these takes a crew of guys over a month to build. So there's, there's a lot of labor that goes into it. It's virtually building an entire house inside of a container. Actually, it is building an entire house inside of a container. If this is something you guys are interested in, or if you wanna build it yourself, these are real numbers that you can work off of. Again, I'm a licensed general contractor. This is what we do for a living. So I don't see how you're really gonna save much on those numbers. We have designed systems that we're breaking it down to exactly how many studs we can use, exactly how much wire we can use, still meeting building codes. We don't see how you can maybe shave off anything off of that other than you know, if you're getting materials for free or you have them left over or, or a couple of different options, I guess. But that's virtually it. Again, link in the description. Make sure to like and share. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Containing Luxury is out.